Obsession with goals and dreams is one of the greatest problems that I encounter in my interactions with successful people. Are you in ambition trap? Let's talk about how too much obsession with your ambitions and desires is counterproductive, how it can ruin your life and how to test if you are in ambition trap. So let's get started. As I gain wisdom, I'm less concerned about reaching my destination and more focused on the journey. You know, guys, don't get me wrong. I am a strong advocate for having a vision for life, having dreams and aspirations. Dreams give you hope and hope is your anchor. But if you're always longing for something to the extent that it makes your life at present seem worthless, then you are creating a trouble for yourself. Too much obsession with your bucket list is counterproductive. Brad, a vice president at a global health firm, rose through the ranks quickly to become a top ranking official. He made a lot of money and he was married to a beautiful lady who loved him. And he was devoted father to wonderful children. Brad had everything, but he was not satisfied. He wanted to be promoted to a higher level position and he felt that his boss was prejudiced and she won't consider him for the position. Brad became very cynical about his boss and complained about the workplace politics. Anger and resentment consumed Brad like a ball of fire. He began to let his emotions get in the way of making any progress at work. In fact, the ball of fire reached home, creating turbulence in his personal life. After coaching Brad for several months, I kind of grew to like him as a person. During my discussions with him, he admitted that his stress and unhappiness were affecting his work, his family, as well as his health. But Brad gave away his power when he allowed his ambition to rule his life. Can you relate to this situation? When you start chasing goals for the sake of hitting targets and bucket lists, work begins to lose its meaning. Constantly thinking about your future can cause unrest and disappointment. It leaves you dissatisfied with your current situation. You have an image of success, but you don't see it coming. You wallow in self-pity. You become preoccupied with your own troubles and you look for things to complain about. Your relationship with others is compromised because you are miserable and grumpy. Nobody wants to be around you, even those who love you. Your relationships are damaged. You begin to compare yourself with others and very soon you are jealous of people around you. Every time you see or think of someone who is succeeding, you are drinking poison envy. You become blind to the impact of your actions on yourself and others. You compromise your emotional intelligence, your self-awareness. You lose perspective on life and you make wrong decisions. And with all of this commotion in your mind, you don't show up for life fully. You are not at your best and you stand in the way of your own success. This kind of frustration may actually cause you to completely abandon your dream, abandon the project. And lastly, your ambition can drive you to compromise your values and ethical principles and you lose your integrity. Now you have gone too far. You're damaging your reputation. This is what happened to Brad. Brad actually became a liability at work and at home. Over the last few years, I have noticed a clear trend. I see too many people on a hamster wheel in pursuit of their next achievement. Younger people are missing their youth, postponing their love life, missing fun of family, 
putting their lives on hold all in service of their career guys there are enough people against you so don't be against yourself don't let your dreams trap you don't let life slip away you are best positioned to succeed when you act from a place of peace and love self love and love for others work done with anxiety about results is far inferior to work done in the calm of self surrender we need to have a balanced approach guys if you are too preoccupied with your dreams then you are destroying your present moment and that is all we have the present moment right let me ask you are you letting your ambition your dream for a better future sabotage your life to know if you are in ambition trap answer these questions how is this obsession impacting your performance at work at home and in life how is it impacting your health what is the impact on your relationships with people you love your children your spouse your friends guys understand this principle we are most effective in our deeds when we act from a place of peace it is good to have aspirations but i ask you to want the right things in the right way without compromising your values and ethical principles and without hurting people you love the most so keep the right perspective do your best and leave the rest good things will come to you take charge and be victorious <laughs>